I'm showing something. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Alright, so one does come there, then you do go
For us, a medical means a lot. It means uh, it has got significant um, uh, meaning in terms of uh, having new service means that we are going to have more volumes, we are going to have bigger shipping line coming in as, as customers introducing new services. It means also that the Port of Mombasa has attracted business from, from the shipping lines and they have found the Port of uh, Mombasa more efficient and more attractive to, uh, to enable them to increase the number of vessels that are applying and, ca and coming to call at the Port of Mombasa. This vessel is called Courtship Ono. She's making her first call today and we expect to start working her at 1500 hours. We have our resources uh, steadily lined up here. We are just waiting for the normal processes of the port health, the pr pratik. Pratik means port health must also move on to the vessel and do their process there to ensure that all port health requirements are met by the shipping line before even our own staff can go on board. This is not only because of coronavirus 19, but it's, it's, a, it's a standard practice under the International Maritime uh, Organization. So this vessel is coming, is carrying 600 moves, both in and out, both import and export. It's, got, it's going to discharge 400 TUs. This 400 TUs carries also uh, reefer containers, it carries also transshipment containers and imports. It carries also imports for transit destinations. It's also carrying import, which we must be moved to Nairobi destination through the standard uh, gauge uh, railway. I said this is significant because it's coming at a time when the world, the global uh, effect of pandemic is felt all over, including the global shipping. Yeah, we have, we, have, we have looked at our performances in the last three months. We have seen a market decrease in, uh, since February, March, and up to the middle of April, where we, we, we saw that uh, volumes had gone down, the number of ships had gone down, some of the vessels had cancelled their, their sailings, they have cancelled their bookings, and they have done what we call blank sailings. This has affectly, greatly affected us in terms of businesses. It has affected us in terms of meeting our targets at the port of Mombasa. But now things are changing, things are turning around, and we are seeing the ports of China, which carries more than 60% of our, of our imports and uh, uh, that's coming through the port of Mombasa, are now opening up their ports. And now we are seeing a market increase in the volumes that are calling at the port of Mombasa. This is an example of such, uh, of such uh, increase being an, uh, an introduction of new service. It means now that we are gradually and steadily going back to normal uh, uh, port operations. And we hope that in the near future, we will be able to fully come back to normal operations. We are all aware of the impact of this COVID in the, in the entire country, and especially the port of Mombasa, which has had its share a share of the impact in terms of uh, staff being affected and it has, it has, it has created challenges that has forced us to re-strategize and quickly change our, our, our existing strategies to enable us to mitigate against the effect of the pandemic in the port operations so that we can sustain our efficiency levels in providing services to the port users. I'm talking about this because we have seen uh, track turnaround times, track turnaround times being affected, especially for transit destinations. They have, uh, now there are so many checkpoints along the northern corridor, which serves uh, the port and all the way to the uh, to the interior destinations of Uganda and Rwanda, Burundi, northern Tanzania region, and even South Sudan. These have been affected by the slower movements of the trucks. They have to undergo all these checkpoints. First, for the purpose of, uh, of going through the process of corona uh, virus, as by the government directives, both locally and across and across the borders, and again at the at the checkpoint at the border clearance, we, we, they also have to undergo uh, also the clearance processes, carry processes, URA processes, Rwanda Revenue Authority processes. This takes longer, and this one has seriously affected the track turnaround times. And because of this, uh, we've, we have experienced certain uh, increase in the volumes lying in our yard because it now is taking longer to evacuate. The container dwell times have increased. And uh, for us to mitigate against this, we have ensured that we, we, we manage the efficiency of the standard gauge railway that serves between Mombasa and Nairobi to ensure that more than 50% of the import that is coming through the port of Mombasa is quickly evacuated 
and, and, and cleared at the port of uh, at the inland container depot in, in Nairobi. It takes roughly six hours from here from Mombasa for a train to arrive at uh, at, 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 at the inland container depot in, in, in Nairobi. So you will see that uh, because of the fishes of standard gauge railway, which we are now doing, and this is very strategic, we are doing what we call the X hook railage. That means we do not allow any SSGR cargo on board this vessel to, to come into our yard and have another stop in our yard and then move to the, to the, to the wagon. So we are picking directly from the vessel straight onto the wagon and within no time the, the, the containers are on their way to inland container depot in Nairobi. The clearance processes at ICD has improved tremendously. The congestion that was there in the beginning is no longer there and the customers are getting even more and improved services. And therefore, we have realized that 90%, because this has been a marketing tool, the exo railage for the shipping lines, to market the ICD, to market exo railage, and to encourage all inland customers to use the SGR to move their cargo from Mozambique. So that means that the, the shipping lines are now moving 95% of all their inland destinations through the standard gauge railway. From uh, three days turnaround time of vessels, we are now moving to 2.4 uh, uh, days turnaround. And this uh, standard universal uh, accepted uh, key performance uh, indicators. So as we move, we should be able to, uh, to attract more customers through our efficiencies. We want to attract more transshipment through our efficiencies and you want to, to, uh, to get even more volume through our transit destinations.